to my channel. Today I have for you another kind of recap video of 2016 and today I want to go through what my favorite fashion and jewelry purchases were. Unfortunately, in my last one, um, I only went through kind of beauty and hair care, skin care, because there was just no time for me to go through kind of fashion and jewelry. There was just too much in that video and it was already getting way too long. So I thought I would do a separate video talking about the kind of best fashion pieces and jewelry pieces that I purchased throughout 2016, what were my favorites, what I've used the most, and um, yeah, just recap on my favorites. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I upload twice a week and I am doing vlogs as well, so there will be a mix of kind of vlogs and sit down fashion, beauty, and makeup videos. So don't forget to subscribe and also don't forget to hit that little bell next to the subscribe button so that you get a notification every time I upload. off I want to talk about my Ferragamo boots. These I purchased last year in the sale and that was in January so I've had them for a year now but they are honestly the shoes I have most worn throughout the year. I purchased them like I said last winter and I wore them the whole of last winter and I've been wearing them the whole of this winter and they're literally pretty much the only pair of shoes I wear throughout the winter months because they are so comfortable, they are amazing, they're flat, but I feel like they're still quite nice and dressy because they have kind of gold accents, they've got the gold buckle at the top and some gold accent details at the back and that makes them really kind of nice. I think it kind of lifts the look a little bit and makes them a little bit more elegant. Um, the sole is completely flat and it is a little thick, so it is really nice because it makes them super comfortable and they also keep your feet super, super warm in the winter because I find that really thin soles actually make your feet feel quite cold. So they are just amazing. I feel like I can wear them with pretty much anything. I mostly wear kind of jeans or leather trousers during the day and I feel that these just go perfectly with any outfit and I've honestly worn them to death. So they were the best investment. I think they cost me about 500 pounds because they were 50% off during the sale and they are honestly the best 500 pounds I have spent. Keeping on the topic of shoes, uh, my next favorite shoe were these sandals from Jimmy Choo. And these were from their previous collection and but they're kind of in their classic kind of sparkly design. And they are the first wedges I've owned, um, and they honestly are so comfortable. I don't know why I never wore wedges before. I go to a lot of kind of Indian um, weddings and events, and usually our outfits are quite long and they cover your feet. So wedges are just perfect because you can't see that they're wedges, and they're so much more comfortable than heels. And they're amazing if you go into like a garden party or something that's gonna be outdoors and the floor is just gonna be maybe grass because heels just dig in and they're so uncomfortable, you can't dance, you can't really walk around and basically your heels get ruined. So wedges are just a much better alternative and I wasn't a fan of wedges ever, I just thought they didn't look great and they made your legs look really bulky, but I've grown to love them because of their comfort. I feel that these are really nice because the wedge is in like a silver color and the front is also quite sparkly so it does dress up the shoe a lot. Um, and because it isn't like a full shoe, it's quite strappy, um, I feel it doesn't look as bulky with the wedge, but they are really, really comfortable, and the wedge is quite high, I think it's almost 10 centimeters, so they give you a lot of height, but at the same time, they're pretty comfortable, and I think for the summer, they're a great option, and also if you're wearing kind of a long dress or a gown, and no one's gonna really see that it's not a heel, I think they look amazing, and the front looks really beautiful, so they were a great purchase. Moving on to handbags, my favorite handbag of the year has been this Gucci handbag which I bought last year when I went to Paris. It has been my most used bag. I have recently grown to love smaller bags a lot more. I was always the big handbag girl and I loved huge handbags because I like to stuff them to the brim but I find that now that I'm not going um, to work to an office and I don't need to carry so much stuff on a daily basis, I just don't need that much space. And to be honest, when the bag is really big, it tends to be really heavy even when it's empty. So even though I think they still look stunning, I find that my back really hurts and I do have problems with my um, upper and lower back. So I try not to put that much weight on it anymore because it just causes a lot of unnecessary back pain really. So I've grown to love smaller bags a lot and this bag was honestly the kind of best bag that I own that's kind of small, fits all my essentials in. It is quite spacious inside even though it is like a quite a small bag because it's quite structured. I also like it because it doesn't lose its shape 
And yeah, if it's my phone, some makeup, my card holder, um, and even some sunglasses, so it kind of fits all my essential for the day. I love that you can wear it crossbody, but you can also wear it on your shoulder, and you can dress it up or down. You can wear it with a pair of jeans during the day, but you can also wear it out in the evening. So it's a super, super versatile bag. I love the gold hardware on it. I love the chain. I think it gives it so much of an oomph. I think it really kind of dresses up the bag. Um, it's in python leather, and I love the details on the side that it's like a pink color. I think that pop of color really makes the bag a lot more interesting. Um, but at the same time, because the front and the back is quite neutral, it can go with most outfits. And I love the gold on the top. I just think it looks absolutely stunning. Moving on to clothes, I discovered oversized shirts this year. And they have been my absolute love. I think, I think it was last year actually when I started to really kind of fall in love with this oversized trend. The first thing that I bought that was oversized was my Max Mara oversized coat, which I featured in about every single post that's on my blog. So you will have definitely seen that one. Um, but I really, really love that. And this year it has been oversized shirts. They have definitely been the start of the show for me. I find them so comfortable. I really like the fact that you can cinch them in with a belt and wear them like that, or you can just kind of let them loose and wear them like that as well. And they look amazing both ways. They are super on trend. So many brands and so many designers have um, been doing oversized shirts this year. And initially I would only wear them with kind of skinny trousers or skinny jeans. But actually, more and more, I've grown to love them with kind of looser trousers as well. I've started to wear them with culottes and with kind of more kind of straight leg trousers. And I think they look amazing. It's just about how you style them, maybe tuck in a little bit at the front to just give you a little bit of shape. But I think they look amazing with a lot of different outfits. And I just love the kind of cape detail they have at the back. And the star of the show for me this year has been this Max Mara shirt that I got. Um, I think it was around kind of April. And it was just, it's just amazing. I get so many compliments when I wear it. I have worn it with a belt around my waist just to kind of cinch it in and wear it more like that. But you, I've also kind of left it loose and worn it with kind of dressier trousers or even with shorts in the summer. And I think it just looks amazing. It almost looks like a dress. So I really, really love it. I love the kind of gold details down the sleeve. I love the kind of oversized sleeves and the cape sort of back that it has. I think it's super, super flattering. It's great for a lot of different body shapes and I love it just because it's so comfortable. Next up is my Massimo Dutti sweater. I love this jumper. I got a black one last year from Massimo Dutti as well. It's the same exact design, but this year I decided to get it in a camel color and they're honestly amazing. They are so nice, so soft, my skin is quite sensitive, so a lot of jumpers tend to be really itchy for me. But this one is just super soft. It's not too thick and it's not too thin. So it's good enough to keep you warm, but at the same time, it's not overly thick that when you're sitting uh, indoors with the heating on, you're just kind of be sweating and feeling really itchy. So um, I really love it. I like that it's not fitted around the waistline because I, I think that is more flattering to my body type. Um, and yeah, it's just a really nice basic to wear underneath blazers or to wear underneath um, a coat. I think it's got so many uses. You can dress it up or down and it's a, definitely a winter staple for me. I really want one in white so I think that's going to be what I'm going to get next year. For tops, my other most worn top is this Kenzo sweatshirt. I got this at um, when I was in Dubai in July and honestly ever since I got it I have worn it to death. I find it so comfortable. I love the monochromatic look that it has because I think it just makes it so versatile. You can wear it with so many different outfits. And I just love how it looks. I find the shape really flattering to my body type. I find that I can wear it with a skirt and give it kind of a very sporty vibe, which is really um, on trend as well. And I can also wear it with jeans or with leather trousers. And I feel like it just suits so many different outfits. And on a daily basis, I wear it so much. I love to travel with it because it's so cozy and so comfy. Um, but at the same time, just when I'm you know, running errands around London, I can wear it with jeans and it's super comfortable and it still makes you look kind of put together because it is quite nice. It's not kind of a scruffy um, sweatshirt. And it is really warm and, at the, and the lining inside is just so soft that it just, I love how it feels on. Moving on to dresses, my best party dress this season um, in terms of something really formal 
to wear out it has to be my um, Julia Damani outfit that I got in Dubai when I was there this year in summer. Honestly with this outfit I have never received as many compliments as when I have worn this. I think this shape is super super flattering, it really kind of cinches in at the waist and it gives you a beautiful hourglass figure. The peplum top really suits my body type because I don't really have much at my hips. So I can look really kind of straight up and down. So this just gives me a nice kind of shape and a little bit of volume around the hip area. I love the off shoulder. I think it's super flattering and it makes my shoulders look a little bit wider, which really kind of accentuates my waist at the same time. So I just love it. I love the color. I think it's very different because mostly for a black tie event, most people will be wearing dark colors. So I think the off-white color really kind of gives it a pop and makes it something really special and different. Um, it's got a very kind of breakfast at Tiffany's vibe um, and yeah I just find it so elegant and so flattering it's not the most comfortable dress in the world I'm not gonna lie um, but it it's so stunning that I would still wear it even though it's not the most comfortable um, with shaper underneath I usually wear like spanks underneath that really helps you kind of shape your body so that the outfit looks better on um, and I think that really helps and also the material it has is kind of neoprene so it's quite thick which means that it doesn't kind of show your underwear or kind of any weird bumps and lumps. It kind of hugs you in the right places, but it kind of keeps your um, figure really streamlined. So I really love this one. As another kind of dressy dress, <laughs> dressy dress, that sounded a bit weird, but yeah, as another kind of dressy outfit, um, my most worn outfit this party season has been this Carolina Herrera number, which I already showed you in my um, evening outfit collection. And it is honestly so beautiful. I love it because the shape is super flattering and it's not fitted, which means that if you're going out, you can eat as much as you want because it's not going to show anything. I find it super flattering. I think it's a super easy outfit to wear. It's a thin crepe, so you can kind of wear it in the summer, but also in the winter. I love the kind of sleeveless details because it means you can layer it with maybe a shirt underneath and make it day appropriate or you can wear it just as it is and it's perfect for the evening. I love the frill at the bottom. I think those ruffles are really in this season, super on trend. Um, so it gives it a really nice vibe. And I also really like the detachable scarf that it has that you can wear around your neck because I feel like you can wear it with or without it and it almost looks like a different outfit. The red also is stunning. It's got a beautiful shade that's super, super flattering. So I really like this one. I'm not gonna ramble on more about it because you've already heard all about it, but yeah, I really like this one. Moving on to um, jeans, I purchased these acne black jeans last winter, I think it was around January or February, and honestly I have worn them to death. I love the fit of acne jeans, they are the only brand of jeans I wear. I find it so annoying to go and buy jeans because you have to try on so many different ones and they all kind of look the same, you just have to try them on to see what really suits your body type. So once I find a brand of jeans that I love, I just tend to stick to it. And ever since I discovered acne jeans, they have been my choice ever since. I find them super flattering, they're not too low, they're not too high. I feel like they fit my body type really, really well. They're super good quality and I really like them because they do different lengths, so you don't have to kind of um, get them tailored. They just fit quite well. If you're shorter, you can take the shorter length, or if you're taller, you can take the longer length. So I really love them, and these black ones are amazing. The black hasn't faded at all. Um, they're kind of a little bit stretchy, but they're not so skin tight that they look awkward around the knee area, because I find that some of the skinny jeans that are too, too tight, they just kind of look a bit like leggings around the knee area, and I really don't like that look. So um, they're really nice, because they're super flattering. They look like jeans, they don't look like leggings, but they're still quite skinny, so I really love these ones. Also for trousers, another favorite this year has been these Claudia Piello trousers that I got in black. They've got a beautiful satin bow detail around the waist and then they've got kind of pleats at the top and they're kind of tailored and skinny at the bottom. I find them super flattering. Again, they've got pockets and they've got pleats at the top so they give me a little bit of volume around my hip area. I find them super flattering and they're in a nice beautiful crepe black material so they go with absolutely everything. You can dress them down if you cover the satin bow, um, and if you let the satin bow show, I feel that you can wear them in the evening and really dress it up. You could even wear it to like a cocktail party. I really love, because the satin bow is still quite flat, which means you can wear stuff outside and you can't really see it, but if you tuck stuff in, it really dresses it up and it has a really nice little detail there, which makes the trousers something really special. And finally, for clothing, this helmet lang top. I got this um, in Switzerland, and honestly, it is amazing. I have worn this so much. 
I find this silhouette super flattering. I like the kind of draping it has at the front. Um, you can leave it kind of in or out. I like to cinch it in with a belt um, at my waist if I'm wearing it out, but you can also just let it be loose. I've worn it with shorts, I've worn it with dressy trousers, I've worn it with skirts. It just goes with absolutely everything. I love the fact that it's sleeveless and that the sleeves sort of go in a little bit at your shoulders because that makes them look a little bit wider. And I love the neckline. I find it so flattering. I think you can afford to wear quite short shorts with it because it's really covered at the top, but at the same time, because it has that kind of wrap detail around your neck, it makes it really beautiful and really interesting. Finally, for jewellery, I wanted to mention this a beautiful necklace that I got from a Spanish designer who's called Adolfo Dominguez. They have opened a store in the UK now, or you can get their stuff online, and I got this last winter, so I'm pretty sure they don't have it anymore, but um, they have really similar designs, so I will link their stuff down below. It is honestly so beautiful. I have been stopped on the street quite a number of times when I've been wearing this. It is such an original design. I really love the gold with the, with the kind of um, material cord that it has. It gives it a more casual vibe but at the same time it's still quite nice and statement and dressy. You can dress it up or you can dress it down. Um, I've worn this with jeans, I've worn this to work, I've worn this to cocktail parties and honestly everybody loves it every single time I wear it. I think this uh... So that's it guys, those have been all my fashion and jewellery favourites for 2016. I hope you enjoyed this video. I will link my beauty favourites down below if you haven't checked that one out. And my party outfit collection, I will also link that below because I've made a few references to it during this video. So I hope you enjoyed this, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I will see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching, bye!